Alfie Allen, congratulations on the movie, mate. Jonathan, um, big up. My mother calls me Jonathan. I feel, <laughs> I'm like, really I'm, sorry. I feel like I'm in trouble now. <laughs> um, a surrealist, like, black comedy about the Nazis with an imaginary Hitler. Was this the weirdest script you've ever read? Um... Mm, uh, potentially, yeah, possibly. Um, I couldn't really visualise it when I was uh, when I was reading it, but I, uh, I, you know, Taika got on the phone with me, kind of explained to me what the the, the vibe was and what kind of goals he was trying to achieve by doing it, and um, quickly became obvious that it wasn't an antagonistic film because mm. when I was reading it, I kind of thought that this is going to piss some people off, but um, but. Uh, I realised that it wasn't, and then he kind of explained to me what. And, and you know, just sort of you know saying it's a it's a film about a single mother trying to raise her child um, in a horrific situation, and uh, and so you see quickly that the message is one of positivity mm. and love and all inclusiveness. You've touched on it there, um, the kind of the fear attached to kind of dealing with concepts like this. You're mm. working with Taika, who's one of my favourite people in film, but he has a very sort of singular humorous voice to a lot of his movies but when you're taking on quite weighty material like World War II and the Nazis and Hitler Youth mm -hmm. there's sometimes maybe some trepidation of dealing with that subject you just like throw yourself into it and give all your kind of put all your faith in the director that he's got a, a vision for it yeah no precisely um, I uh, you know it definitely is sort of delicate subject matter so um, you have to feel like you're in the right hands um, but you know it, it never, you, you just you you go into this movie, I think, um, already feeling like a naughty child just for making the choice to go and see it. And I think that's one of, a, a, if I can be so bold, as to say that I think that's a trait in in all of Taika's movies. You know, mm. you kind of see this world through the eyes of a child. And so I think with the other, with Boy and Hump for the Wilder People, you kind of go in there unknowingly. But with this, you know what you're going into. Mm. You know that you're going into watch a movie which is uh, has Nazis in it. And so, um, so you feel like a naughty child straight away, and so you kind of have that sense of naivety from, from the off. Speaking of which, let's talk Finkel, uh, a, a joyful character, really. He's he's a lot of fun to watch, and he looked like a lot of fun to play. He is kind of a, a very much uh, a character rooted in comedy, mm -hmm. so it's a bit of relief. Was mm -hmm. was it that kind of vibe when you were playing? Was it was it more of a laugh than maybe a Theon Greyjoy when well, I, very yeah. intense all the time? <laughs> I um I definitely. Uh, was happy when I got to go leave from Game of Thrones and went to, got to do a comedy. Um, I mean, you know, some people might argue that there was uh, there was times when Theon Greyjoy was a bit of comedic relief in uh, Game of Thrones, um, but uh, I would say that with 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 this role, um, it was more kind of interesting to me to. Uh, find out what it was like to be in a relationship with a man um, in those times and uh, and how, uh, you know, how that uh, categorizes you in, in, in those societies. And um, and they kind of have their moment at the end, you know. It's, uh, they, they, you know, everyone, you know, obviously concentration uh, camp prisoners were forced to wear the stars and, and these people were forced to wear the pink triangles. And so, um, so it's kind of... Uh, a, a bit of a poignant moment, I felt, at the end. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Like the stuff in the sport, oh, God. <laughs> no! <laughs>